Hi there, Mr. Muhammad is here. Multiplication and division of integers. Check your understanding 2.3. It is about multiplying and dividing integer numbers. So we multiply them normally, like 7 times 2 is 14. But since we have positive times negative, the result will be negative. Because um, in multiplication and division, it goes like this. When you have positive times positive, the result is positive. When you have negative times negative, the result is positive. And negative times positive, the result is negative. Positive times negative, the result is negative. So to make this simpler, when you see the same sign, the result is positive. When you see different signs, the result will be negative. Here, they have different signs. One is negative, one is positive. It means the final answer is negative. Here, again, the answer will be negative because they have different sign. 3 times 4, 12. The answer will be positive because they have the same sign. 2 times 9, 18. 2 times 9, again, 18 because they have the same sign, positive 18. The same thing works for division. 10 divided by 2 is 5 because 1 is negative, 1 is positive. The result will be negative. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 1 is negative, 1 is positive. The result is negative. They both negative. The result will be positive. 16 divided by 8 is 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15. 1 is negative, 1 is positive. Thus, 15 will be negative. 8 times 6 is 48, so it's negative 48, and the rest is your homework. This is called factor tree. As an explanation, 60 is equal to 6 times 10. There is multiplication between these numbers, but it's okay to not write the multiplication sign. 6 times 10 is 60, so since both of them are not prime, 6 and 10, so 6 is 2 times 3, 10 is 2 times 5, then we stop. We don't need to write 2 times 1, 3 times 1, no. This is the stopping point. Here, 48 is 8 times 6, 8 is 2 times 4, 6 is 2 times 3, 4 is 2 times 2. Done. Now, to write these as powers, we will write it 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 means 2 to the power of 4 because 2 is repeated 4 times for the 48 as you see here and 3 is repeated once, it's just 3. For the 60, 2 is repeated twice, that's why we have 2 to the power of 2 times 3 times 5. Now let's do some practice. Write each of these numbers as a product of prime numbers. Let's do it for 45. 45. Most of the numbers, they have more than one way, more than two ways to express them as the factor tree. 45, we can say it's 5 times 9. Then 5 is a prime number, we leave it because we don't need to write 1 times 5 and 9 is 3 times 3 so 45 is equal to 3 to the power of 2 times 5 because 3 is repeated twice let's do the same thing for 44 44 44, we can say it is 2 times 22. You can say it is 4 times 11. Both fine. Then 22 is 2 times 11. Then you see it's 2 to the power of 2. 2 is repeated twice times 11. Why we left the 11? Because 11 is a prime number. So we cannot write 11 as the product of two other numbers.
the 11 is prime for 72 you can start by 9 times 8 then the 9 will be 3 3 the 8 will be 2 4 so we can say it is 3 to the power of 2 times 2 times 4 180 you can say it's 18 times 10 10 by 18 then 10 will be 2 5 18 will be 2 9 and then 9 will be 3 3 so to write 180 as the product of prime numbers it will be 2 is repeated twice 2 to the power of 2 times 3 is repeated twice 3 to the power of 2 times 5 as you see we used all of these numbers work out the highest common factor highest common factor in the previous lesson we had a few examples about it highest common factor lowest common multiple multiple we are going to write the multiples of 35 and 45 don't mix factor and multiple factors are the numbers that they make 28 and 42 in multiplication like 4 times 7 1 times 28 2 times 14 these are factors but multiples it means we need to go by 35 to get the multiples of 35 35 plus 35 70 plus 35 105 and so on multiples of 45 again we need to go by 45 45 plus 45 90 plus 45 135 plus 45 180 and so on express 120 and 144 in prime factor 4 so prime factors means just like question 1 write 120 as the product of prime numbers and 144 144 is 12 times 12 then 12 is 3 times 4 then the 4 will be 2 by 2 then you can write all of it as the product of prime numbers squares cubes squares cubes and roots so this table is important for square numbers and cubic numbers like one square is one two square is four because it's two times two three square don't make the common mistake here three square is not six three square is nine because it's three times three sixteen 25 these are the square numbers up to 400 so these are these 20 numbers are the most used numbers for your level and the cubic numbers as you see 2 to the power of 3 is 8 3 to the power of 3 is 27 all the way to 10 to the power of 3 which is 1000 Now let's go to the practice. Write the value of 11 to the power of 2, which is 121. 6 to the power of 3 is 216. The square root of 144 is 12. The cubic root, the cubic root of 64 is 4. The cubic root of 64 is 4.
9 square is 81, part A, 81, 8 to the power of 3, part B, it is 512, the square root of 289 is 17, part C is 17, part D, the cubic root of 729 is 9 D 9 and so on question 6 Pedro says that the square root of 43 lies between 5 and 6 Let's check. Another says that the square root of 43 lies between 6 and 7. Explain how you can tell which one is right. To do this, firstly, the first perfect square, which is less than 43, is 36. Is less than 43. And 43 is less than 49. These two numbers are both perfect square numbers. The square root of 36 is 6, it will be less than the square root of 43, and the square root of 49 is 7. So as you see, the square root of 43 is between 6 and 7. Working with indices, the powers stands for number of repeats. Here 2 is repeated 5 times, that's why we have 2 to the power of 5. The number 2 is called base and the 5 is called index or power. When numbers have the same base, the same base, we add the powers in multiplication. When the numbers were the numbers have the same base, we add the powers, like here 5 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of 4 is 5 to the power of 7. In division, we subtract the powers. When a number has two powers, like here a to the power of m to the power of n, 4 to the power of 3 all to the power of 5, we multiply the powers. When a number has two powers, we multiply the powers out without changing the base. When a number has a negative power, we send the number under the fraction to make the power positive. So 5 to the power of negative 2 is 1 over 5 to the power of 2. And 5 to the power of 2, it's obvious that it's equal to 25. And finally, 5 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 1 over 25. And anything with the power of 0 is equal to 1. Let's move on to the practice. 3 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 5. Since they have the same base, we will add the powers. That will be 3 to the power of 9. 4 to the power of 5 divided by 4 to the power of 2. So since it's division and they have the same base, we're going to subtract the powers. That will be 4 to the power of 3. We can rewrite this problem as fraction. We can say 4 to the power of 5 over 4 to the power of 2. In both cases, we will subtract the powers that gives 4 to the power of 3. When a number has two powers, we will multiply the powers out. So we will have here 8 to the power of 12. And here we add the powers 6 to the power of 7 times 6 to the power of negative 2, we add the powers 7 plus negative 2 is equal to 5. Or we can send this one under the neath of 6 to the power of 7. Then again, we subtract the powers that give us 6 to the power of 5. Any number, question 14, any number to the power of 0, it will be 1. And 16. 4 to the power of 5 divided by 4 to the power of t is equal to 8. Then think, it's division, and they have the same base, we need to subtract the powers. So in this case, we don't need the 4s, we will have 
5 minus t is equal to 8. So t must be a negative number because if t be a negative number with this negative, it will be plus. So it is 5 minus negative 3, which is equal to 8. Then t is negative 3. The rest, remember, the rest is homework and they are all similar to the ones that I did on the side. Bid mass. Bid mass stands for brackets, indices, means powers, then division, multiplication, addition, subtraction from the left to right. Check your understanding, 2.7. Here we have 3 to the power of 2 plus 5 to the power of 2. So according to bid mass, we have to do the indices, the powers, before the addition. 3 to the power of 2 is 9 plus... 5 to the power of 2 is 25, then add them, 9 plus 25 is equal to 34. Here, question 2, we have to do the brackets because bid mass, B brackets, is the first. So to remove the brackets, we add 3 with 5, that gives 8, the power 2 stays in the step, then it will be 64. Question 3, multiplication should be done before addition. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. Question 4, brackets should be done before division. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Then we rewrite it like 14 divided by 7. And 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. We have two brackets, so we have to fix the brackets before the multiplication. In this bracket, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 times. In this bracket, we will have 11, so the answer is 7 times 11, 77. Here, multiplication should be done before addition. 4 times 5 is 20. Then, 20 plus 3 is 23, plus 6 is 29. This one looks a little bit weird, so the rest is homework. Uh, 5 to the power of 2 is 25, 3 to the power of 2 is 9. We say we have to do the brackets first, but even inside the brackets, again, we have to follow a bit mass one more time. Then to, 5 to the power of 2 is 25, minus 3 to the power of 2 is 9. This is the bracket part, divide by 2. 25 minus 9 is equal to 16, divided by 2 is equal to 8. The final answer is 8 for question 9. So expressions, equations, and formula is for lesson 3, which is the next lesson. Thank you for watching.